Mary Moore, you look after the Henry Moore family uh, collection. What advice would you give in the setting up of an artist's estate? If they want to start a foundation, uh, there are four points that they really need to consider. Number one, they need to know, uh, they need an inventory. They need to know their estate. Number two, probably they want to make a will because they want to think about are they making a foundation or a gift and how are they going to look after their family. Number three, they probably need tax planning. They need lawyers and they need to write or have the artist, if he's still alive, write some kind of manifesto which would be the guiding, which would be the guide, as it were, to what their foundation or estate is intended to do. And lastly, probably, you want to do it sooner rather than later. It's probably easier while the artist is still alive. But you don't want to rush it. You want to take your time discussing all of these things till you're thoroughly satisfied that you have the answers that all of you are looking for. And what do you think is um, an example of something that is a successful artist estate? Well, I mean, I think the Henry Moore Foundation is a pretty, is, is a pretty successful example in that it has a huge grants program it's managed to maintain its presence at the artist's home and uh, it has a contemporary presence in Leeds. Um, it, it puts on exhibitions, it cares for the work. I think it's a pretty good template even now, but every single artist has, a, has different needs and every single different one, every single different artist will make a very different estate plan or estate. And how have you found the conference so far? Um, I think the conference is fascinating. I think uh, for everybody attending it, uh, the delegates as well, there'll be a tremendous amount both in the conference room and in the social gatherings afterwards, an exchange of knowledge, an exchange of views and ideas, which will be immensely important.